I'm Jim Hebner, and Pam and I are happy to have you here in our home tonight. And it is a uh, it's a very special treat for me, John. We, we were sitting here when we were raising money for the Senate, and that worked out pretty good. And now we've come back to do this. And uh, the you probably have about the same amount of. Uh, the, the probabilities are about the same now as they were when you were first announcing for the Senate. It is my it is my real pleasure to be here with a, uh, an old friend and colleague whom I've known for God, Johnny. Maybe it's been 25 years, I think, now since uh, I got to know John when he represented me. And let me just tell you, I can tell you that, that the people who really hate the plaintiff lawyers are, are the defendants. <laughs> And you know, if you are the plaintiff, then you want the very best one that you can possibly get. And so John represented us successfully when we were the little company suing a large company for giving us bad products. At any rate, that's so uh, I have admired and respected and uh, treasure my friendship with John for all of that time and to have, uh, uh, to have now seen what he has done in, uh, in, in literally uh, transforming those people who he has known and, and he has served, uh, I think puts us all tonight on the threshold of a, of a very special and historic time in this country. It's been interesting, John, as I've been calling folks to ask about this. We get now, you know, you've got lots of supporters in Chapel Hill. So the, if the number of people who tell me that they have maxed out have really maxed out, <laughs> then we really, we have another several million that we can, that we can report in this. And my Republican friends who keep telling me that John's going to give away the store, what I tell them, of course, is that if uh, they had run their companies the way the crowd up there has run the company store now, they couldn't afford to be Republicans. <laughs> so the, uh, so we, we're at a very special time right now. And it's, uh, it's also a special. Governor, I want to ask you to come and, and, and just bring greetings to this group. Uh, I have known Governor Hunt, I, gosh, maybe 20, he was tw 27, 28 years old, and my college roommate was Governor Hunt's right-hand man, and even then, he introduced, he introduced me to him as Governor Hunt. <laughs> <laughs> and so I have never known him as anything other than Governor Hunt, but, uh, and he is, uh, and, and will feel that way until the day that I die. He, re he, he, he brought a a quality and a bearing and a nobility to the time that he was in the in office here and and governor uh, it's good to know that we've got great young democrats coming along tonight we've got some wonderful i, I will not begin to try to name the the uh, uh, celebrities that we have in the crowd tonight but i see jim neal who is the currently unopposed uh not Democratic candidate for the United States Senate, and I think it's about time that we send Libby Dole back to her home. Yeah. 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 Do we think she really does? She know the way to North Carolina? <laughs> According to her press people, she knows the way to vacationing in the mountains. She's been, been, so she's she's been vacationing yeah. in the mountains. So this is a very happy and a, and a very special time. And Governor, I think that perhaps yeah, I haven't told you that I'm going to do this, but I've never known you. Uh, in, incapable on a moment like this. Would you introduce the next president of the United States for us? Well, thank you. Thank you, Jim and Pam and her family that is here, including her father. Uh, I am delighted to be here. I've just spent two hard days in Michigan. <laughs> They're trying to copy our Smart Start program. They even named theirs Great Start. It's not as good as ours. <laughs> I went up there and met with the governor and walked around in the halls of the legislature. I was on the Republican side in the state house up there, and two of the Republican state representatives said, we want to come down to North Carolina and do some real estate deals. I gave him my law card. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> I'm looking for something to make some money with up there. Uh, but, but, but I am delighted to be here tonight, and I'm delighted that all of you are here, and I'm delighted my granddaughter, Hannah Hall, is here, who's a senior, and her friend, Caroline, who's volunteering in John Edwards' campaign. Folks, I've been involved in politics for a while, married a girl from Iowa. I can tell you what the people in Iowa 
think of John Edwards, they love him. Yeah. They love him. Like they love him all over America. That's right. This man has an appeal to every kind of American in a way that nobody else does. Who do you think has the best chance of carrying the South as a Democratic candidate? John Edwards. Who do you think has the best chance to carry the Midwest, including those working guys and gals, like I just saw in Michigan? John Edwards. He can carry any part of this country. And he's been out there with those people. I can tell you for four years, five years, he's been working in Iowa. They know him. They trust him. They love him. They know the kind of integrity and man of principle that he is. I can tell you down in South Carolina, John, today, the News Observer, you probably don't have to read that anymore, but uh, <laughs> the, the, the News Observer today has a big article about him being down in South Carolina where he was born. Speaking down in what they, what are they calling that, the poverty belt? Or the, I don't like to use the term, but it's corridor of shame. The yeah. card of shame down along I-95. By the way, I live on I-95. I-95 splits my cattle farm. The graduation rate in Wilson County is 56%. We've got this problem all over America. Now, I want you to read the education platform of all the candidates. His is the best by far. It's because and he helped write it. <laughs> a little <laughs> but it is. He's got answers to how we get good teachers in every school in America, especially those that need them the most. He's got great ideas about how we help children get a good start, a smart start. He's, he's, he's willing to take on some of these things that aren't popular with everybody. He knows about things that will work, and he's willing to commit resources. John, what we need for the next four years is a President of the United States who will focus on building this country up and helping every citizen in America. This is the man to do it. Now, folks, I, I want to tell you, you know how important this election is. America has never been in a bigger mess than it is right now. Never in history. And it's going to take a man of principle, of ideas, and of guts to turn it around. And he'll take them all on. He's done it all of his life and won. So I'm here with you all tonight. First to say to John Edwards how proud we are of him. How much we love him and admire him and Elizabeth and all of his family. And to tell you folks that if we keep working, if we raise this money, it's not about maxing, it's double maxing. You don't know what that is? <laughs> that means give for the primary and the general. They'll hold it. But folks, he can do it. If he wins Iowa, and I think he will, that gives him the momentum to win New Hampshire, where he's got great support. And then he comes to his home state of South Carolina, born and bred there. You think he ain't going to carry South Carolina? You are wrong. He will. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the next president of the United States, John Edwards. <laughs>